Well, this is one of the most interesting ones I've done so far. Um, never in my wildest dreams, about two years ago when I started building pulse motors, would I ever have dreamed that I could be running one of these little pulse motors off a glass of water. And that's what that is. That's a glass of water, and that's running that pulse motor. And there's Maggie with her eyes on. You can see her eyes. And anyway, it's the SEC 15 that I showed in my last video. And um, these uh, 27 LEDs are on full bright. And it's running on a little 12 volt battery right here. And this is running at about 50 milliamps. Uh, I forgot to mention that yesterday. But it's, it's drawn about uh, 45 to 50 milliamps. The energy is being transferred from this uh, transmitter tower across space into the glass of water. There's one small thin wire going down into the glass of water. The energy is flowing out through that one little wire through a, a diode, what they call an Avonmenko plug, Avonmenko plug, which uh, one diode goes one way, one the other way. It's going into a 2200. Um, uh, microfarad uh, 50 volt cap and then uh, that energy that's there is being used by the little Bedini pulse motor here that uh, fires off the little electromagnet and spins the rotor up and then Maggie's eyes are caused through an induction link with the magnet and her coil. Uh, this green wire was real key. I found out today this is a ground lead to a virtual ground. This is just a chunk of aluminum. And I found by accident that if I touched this, the motor sped up. So I added that wire there, and this really made a difference. But uh, some of the guys were talking about the daisy chain effect of this energy and how it, it loops like in a daisy chain out to the end, keeps on going. And there's the energy out here at the end of the daisy chain. And uh, this doesn't affect the amp draw, believe it or not, on the main circuit. Uh, no matter what you do, once it leaves there, uh, there's no back feed through the air back to the uh, source battery. In fact, the source battery is hot too. You can see the source battery lights up here too with the energy. So there's, there's uh, energy everywhere. And it's in the water here. And it's over here at this capacitor. It's on the motor. It's even on Maggie. A little bit on Maggie. And it's over here at the very end of the daisy chain right there. This is what it sounds like. Here's my little radio. I'm not going to be able to hear it here. There it is. There's so many frequencies here. And then up like that. That's what the pulse motor sounds like. I put this on a scope today and it was just a, a jumble of waveforms. And I couldn't get a clean uh, waveform. I was going to show that. But the, the amount of waves that are going on in here, it was too confusing on the scope to even show it. So I didn't. But anyway, that's the latest. That's the little pulse motor running off of a glass of water. And that's being driven by a Dr. Stifler SEC 15-3, my home-built version of that. Thanks for watching.